Hello and welcome to the Federal Podcast on India-Australia Test Series for the Border Gavaskar Trophy. I am Aprameya Si. Today, the fourth day of the fourth test in Ahmedabad, uh, we witnessed a special knock from Virat Kohli as he scored a test century after more than three years. Kohli's 186 and Aksha Patel's 79 took India to 571 and a lead of 91 runs. The innings ended with nine wickets down as an injured Shreya did not bat. At stumps, Australia was three for no loss in its second innings. To review today's play, we have senior cricket writer R. Kaushik joining us from the Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad. Thanks, Kaushik, for talking to the Federal. Hi, Apu. Glad to be back. Uh, Kaushik, first up, yesterday we, we spoke about the day's play and uh, Kohli was 59 not out and we had hoped for a big one. And here it is. You mentioned how brilliant Kohli was during his uh, half century on day three. Uh, for our ris- listeners, Kaushik, could you dissect Kohli's 186, the emotions, and uh, he got to his 28th test century and overall 75th in international cricket. Over to you, Kaushik. Yeah, it was, you know, if you look at this innings and uh, you might look at the overall numbers and you will look at the quality of the stroke play and you will think that it is not Kohli's best knock or, or that he's played a lot of better innings, a lot of more aesthetically pleasing innings. But this is an innings that will immensely satisfy him for the circumstances under which it came about. We all know that he spoke about three years, he's not scored uh, 100. Mm-hmm. But but not just the fact that he did not score 100, he was not scoring runs. You know, the 23 test matches since his last 100. And in those 23 test matches, he was averaging 25, 26. And that is not what somebody of Kohli's caliber expects of himself. Forget about what you expect of him or what I expect of him. Kohli doesn't expect to uh, be happy with those numbers because he's a competitor, he's a fiercely passionate and proud competitor. He's got all these numbers, he's got all these runs, he's got all these hundreds. So he will, he, his professional pride would have been badly hurt. It wouldn't have helped that everybody is questioning, there were whispers, he lost captaincy. It's just been a difficult phase in his cricketing life. And, mm-hmm. uh, and, and, and you know that at some stage or the other, the long rope that you have, you have to justify that. Obviously, Kohli deserved the long rope because of the volume of work that he's put in in the past. But then sometimes even the best have self-doubts. And this was a great opportunity in the sense that it was the best batting track of the series that we've been speaking about for the last three days. And uh, But the fact is that he spent two days on the field. Australia had 480 on the board. And he's, he's not a youngster. He's 34 years old. So the way he built his innings, I mean, there was a period today where for 123 balls, he did not score 100. When he reached his 100 in 200, 241 balls, it was the second first 100. He had only five boundaries in the 100. So it just shows the premium that he put on his wicket. It was not about scoring runs. It was about occupying the crease. It was about not making mistakes. It was about making bowlers earn his wicket. And and that is the facet of Kohli that we don't see too often. I don't mean it in a bad way. I just mean that he's the kind of guy who likes to dominate attacks. Right. And he realized that this was not the kind of surface where he can do that. And therefore, the manner in which he faced the innings. It was brilliant. It was a great lesson on how to build uh, an innings on a, on a surface where so production is not easy. Again, we spoke yesterday about how it's right. not the kind of pitch where you will, you will get out if you don't want to get out, but you can't score if you want to score fast. And therefore, the discipline that he showed uh, and, and trying to sort of minimize the chances of getting out but almost taking the option out of the way, offside out of the equation and predominantly targeting the next side for the first 100 runs. I think it is just it is fabulous. It is great to watch. It's a lesson on how, even at 34, even after having played 100 test matches, that you have the willingness and the ability to change your natural game. Right, right, right. Kaushi, could you talk us through those celebrations? Not for the top celebrations as well, isn't it? Uh, Kaushi, is the uh, yeah. celebrations after reaching the 100? Yeah, it was. It was probably more relief than delight. I mean, I'm not saying he was not delighted, but definitely there was a great deal of relief because the monkey was off the back, like we've been talking about how it's been building up and everyone's talking about, oh, Kohli's not got 100, Kohli's not got 100. And therefore, there was a sense of relief. I also got the feeling that he thought that it was not done, the, the business was not yet over because he was still, uh, uh, the team needed him to continue to bat on despite the fact that he's got 100. So I think it is taking all those factors into account. The celebrations were remarkably muted, and uh, yeah, that just shows that uh, when you are a champion and you finally got over the hurdle, that you want to make the most of it. Right, right. Sir. And uh, a word of appreciation for the way Akshay batted and uh, gave support to Kohli. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Paul Series is probably been India's uh, second best or joint best batsman alongside Rohit Sharma. He, 
he made a crucial half century in the first test, he made a very vital half century in the second test. And in both the games, he was desperately unlucky to get out uh, and to not the 100. And here also he came He came on the back of several good partnerships. You know, this is India had the half century stand at least for the first six wickets. And that's only the third time in the history of test cricket that that happened that the top six wickets have all produced at least a half century stand. Success came in on the basis of a platform. But he came in uh, against a tiring attack on a very uh, not so helpful surface. And therefore he came and played his shots. Uh, he, he took the bowling on. He and uh, Kohli ran beautifully between the wickets. Uh, and it's nice to see Akshar evolving into this confident batsman. Uh, you know, it uh, reminded me a little bit of Ravindra Jadeja when, when Akshar came into the Test match side first. I don't think he believed that he could bat and bat successfully at the Test match level. But unlike Jadeja, who took four or five years to figure that out, that he is a good enough batsman to score in Test cricket, Akshar has taken only about a year and a half. And you can see the consistency in the, in the batting, consistency in the scores that he's producing. The ability to carry people around him. Okay, so today at Kohli for support, but in the past we've seen that he batted reasonably well with the tail. So I think that those are very promising signs. And any update on uh, Shreyas Sayas injury? What is the BCCI saying, or has it uh, released any official statement? The, the only statement we got is that he had a uh, he complained of uh, uh, pain in the lower back yesterday after yesterday's play, and uh, he went for scans this uh, this morning. He didn't come to the ground. He went from the hotel, had his scans, and went back to the hotel. So we are awaiting word on on uh, on what his status is. Obviously, he will not be required tomorrow. He will get a substitute to field. So I don't think uh, they will risk him in the field tomorrow. He's an integral part because he stands close in short leg silly points. So India probably will miss that aspect of uh, Shreyas cricket. But uh, everybody is just hoping that uh, he. It's not a bad injury because this is an injury that kept him out of the first test. This is an injury that kept him out of one-day series just in January uh, against uh, New Zealand. So the general impression uh, is that let it not be serious because there is a lot of cricket coming up. So there is the IPL at the end of this uh, this tour. And then there's a, if India do make it, then there's a World Test Championship. So the aim will be to try and make sure that they do, India doesn't do anything now that aggravates uh, the injury and puts him in doubt for the future engagements. And as we are talking about the subject, I'd also like to mention the role that he has Bharat played. You know, he, he got to bat at number six. And he's been under the scanner a little bit with question marks about his batting, which I thought was quite unfair because all the batsmen failed. Most of the batsmen failed in difficult batting conditions. And today he got his chance. He is batting at six with a well-set goalie. And it was nice to see him show the enterprise and go after Cameron Green when he picks the ball short. He looked comfortable and unfortunate that he got out with a 50 beckoning, but I think this will have given him a lot of confidence and that will probably also reflect in his love work. Right, right. So one last question. The match uh, will enter day five, final day, first time entering day five in the series. What can we expect on day five? Uh, well, this is this has been a little bit of a surprise the way this pitch is behaved because Yes, okay, it was very good for batting for the first couple of days. Uh, it's continued to remain that way. But you would have thought with the heat here and the natural wear and tear that you get in surfaces in the subcontinent, that there will have been greater damage to the surface than there has been now. But this is, still looks firm, still looks hard. Uh, if you go cast your mind back in time to two years when England played here, uh, two test matches combined lasted less than five days. You know, and this we have met this one test match now, which is gone to the fifth day, and uh, nobody is 100 percent sure that this pitch is going to crack up. I mean, today the, the the thinking was that if another harsh day sun breaks down on the pitch, then there will be a little more damage to the surface. But today was surprisingly not very sunny. It was still a hot day, but the sun was not out and there was, it was overcast, so the pitch did not uh, take up as much of the sun as it would have otherwise. Uh, it still looks pretty decent for batting, uh, but. Again, the Australian need another 88 runs just to avoid the innings defeat. Uh, who knows if a couple of wickets early, as then uh, or Jareja, and the bounce is becoming a little bit uneven. So you know, who knows, Sami and uh, Umesh could come into the picture as well. So India will fancy the chances. Australia will be under pressure. They'll be the only team that will be under pressure. So yeah, pressure can do funny things. We've seen that previously in this series itself. So India supporters, Indian team will be hoping that. Uh, Again, the pressure tells tomorrow and India doesn't have to depend on other results to get to the final of the World Test Championship. Right, right. Thanks for your thoughts, uh, Kaushik. We'll reconnect tomorrow.